Shot clock at five. Well, you love what David West brings to the table. Offensively, he can shoot, he can post up, he can muscle you. But he can really help you win you know, without the ball in his hands, too, by setting hard screens and crashing the offensive board. And, Wes, just what you think of when you talk about a true veteran, competitive, leadership, toughness. All of that is David West personified. And he does it without saying a whole lot. When he speaks, it's always right on time and on target. But his example is one that uh, all young players should absorb and benefit from. LaVoy Allen's checked in for Indiana. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Gonzalez against Hill. Pass to George. For the three. Can't get it to go. And Detroit the other way now. They led by as many as 18 points. Their last game, a win against Boston, looking to carry it into this one. And yeah, they were nearly flawless offensively in that win, Kevin. Once they got rolling, they just did not stop. My kind of performance to watch, guys. Efficient and potent. Very strong. Hill against Gonzalez. Hill kicks to George. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Well, an eight-rebound advantage like the one they have now is always going to swing the score hard in that team's direction. And that's certainly been the case today. Their rebounding has made a huge difference. You've got to make a defensive adjustment here because he's just destroying them from three-point range. Well, even when they've closed out on him, Steve, he's knocking them down. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, Kevin, no doubting Andre Drummond, an emerging star at the center position. As new coach Stan Van Gundy put it, I think we have two responsibilities to Andre Drummond that will help our team. Number one, do everything we possibly can to develop him as a player, and secondly, to put a system and personnel around him that will allow him to thrive. Kevin? Doors, it sounds like he'll play a pivotal role. Thank you. Yeah, Van Gundy perhaps envisioning him as Dwight Howard 2.0 in the middle. We'll see if, in fact, Drummond can live up to that. Six to shoot. Let's the three fly. Yep, it's good. And another three from Gonzalez. Gonzalez has got 46 points. Last outing for Indiana. They won that game against the Knicks in New York. And guys, they could have won that game on the strength of their offense alone. It was that good. And to do it on the road, too. I mean, with the way they just kept coming at them and coming at them, they kept that crowd out of the game the entire time. That's good work. A uh, different look here for Detroit. Your red coach. And it's Jennings in for Jody Meeks. And Indiana with a change here, too. Copeland's checked in. Allen kicks to George. Looking to end the run. And it's Paul George with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Great defense. He anticipated the play and got there first. Yeah, I think he got there in time. Nice play. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Stan Van Gundy said to the team. He told his guys to make sure they keep the pace fast, to get out and run each and every chance they get. He also brought up offensive rebounding as something that should be a priority, saying, quote, those are the battles we can and should win. Perhaps the rest of the second half will look different after those adjustments, Kevin. Thanks again, Doris. Well, some of the numbers NBA wingman have been putting up from the field this season are truly impressive. Have a look at the top shooters among them. The fourth spot held by Paul George. Well, that is such an efficient group offensively. That's really the best way to describe them. Nothing forced, just solid, smart shots. And at small forward, that's the only way to post that kind of percentage. I mean, just letting them fly from the perimeter isn't going to get it done. You've got to get it inside some, too. C.J. Miles, he's checked in for George. And that trip coming up empty, missing both. Oh, there's so much talk about the intentional foul, whether it's good for the league or not. Some people say, hey, keep the rule, make the guy make the free throw. If he can't make a free throw, then coach has to take him out. On the other hand, it's boring to watch. It slows the game down. I'd like to see the elimination of the rule. Don't let a, a, a foul fest go on and just have a parade to the foul line. And the Pacers can't get it to go. 
Boy, they've really dominated on the glass. And, of course, they've done a lot of good things here tonight, but the rebounds have played a major factor. Hey, Steve, you know rebounding always one of the key barometers in determining the victor. Third three in a row right there. Adjustment time for the defense, guys. Well, you knew that Andre Drummond was oozing with potential, but that keyword potential, you know, can quite often be as much of a curse, Clark, as it is a boon, but he just blossomed last year. Yeah, he really did. I mean, with the way he moves around the floor at his size, you had to know that if he started to put it all together, he would be a game-changing talent, and he showed flashes of that and made a big leap last season. And Miles kicks to Mahimi. Allen, a screen on Singler. Pass to Stuckey. It's stolen by Gonzalez. And here we go. Fast break. Gonzalez has got it. Jennings passes to Yurepko. Rebound by Mahimi. Mahimi's got three rebounds now in this one. And you said with Drummond, you know, the movement and fluidity of him, he makes the extraordinary seem so easy at times. Very much a, a highlight reel machine at such a young age. Shot to end this cold run. They get it back. Comes up empty down low. And they needed that hoop to try to stop this run. They just seem to keep coming up empty. They've got to slow it down and get a good shot. Gonzalez sinks the triple. Gonzalez has got 18 points just in the second half. Mm, they are killing them with that three-point shot here in the second half. Well, the defense fully stretched out trying to stop that shot and still not able to get it done. Miles dishes to Stuckey. Drains the 19-footer. That's a nice play there. The more contributors this team can get, the better. Outside, Gonzalez. Oh, and the buzzer beater's good. woo Kevin. They're firing on all cylinders. That shot caps a nice run going into the final quarter. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. This was an exceptional pass, guys, and we see the result. It hits him in stride, and bam, the slam dunk. Mm. Checking in for the paces. Let's see what you got, son. Oh, I got plenty. And George Hills subbed in for Donald Sloan. And, well, Detroit shooting indicative of smooth offensive play up at 60%. They're a machine from the floor. On the court for Indiana. George Hill at the one, Paul George at the two. Down low, Weston Hibbert. And it's Copeland in at the small forward position. And George kicks to Hill. Hibbert with a screen for Hill. The pass to Hibbert. And there's a nice one-handed slam. Great interplay there between those two teammates. Gonzalez, he's checked in for Kyle Singler. Samuel Gonzalez! Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Passes to Gonzalez. Shot from the wing. And again, it's the Pistons missing. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. Ball stolen. Here's Caldwell Pope. Fires from the corner. It's good. Nice touch there from Gonzalez. Gonzalez has got 60. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Pistons. Boy, defensively, they've played with a high energy level, guys. And with all the steals we've seen, really a result of that aggressiveness. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either. And it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. Left side, Gonzalez. Off target from three-point range. The Pacers have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Cope on the pass to George. Here's Hibbert. No good. And the Pistons now going the other way. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. That will complete this four-game homestand. Well, and you know the fans out in Charlotte are desperately hoping for a win there. And Hill over to help. 
Nice ball movement by Detroit. Augustine passes to Gonzalez. It's rebounded by Indiana. This quarter has not been his best. The defense may be starting to affect him a little bit. George dishes to Copeland. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Here's Gonzalez. It's good from long range. They're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results right now. Yeah. In fact, three of the last five makes are from beyond the arc. And there's the feed to Hibbert. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. And the Pistons making a change here. Martin's checked in. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Feeds it to Caldwell Pope. Gonzalez with it. He dishes it to Caldwell Pope. Shot clock at six. Hill against Gonzalez. Offline with his three. And uh, Indiana shooting struggles apparent. 37% from the field. And here's Hill for three. Rebounded by Anthony. Detroit's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Back to Gonzalez. Beyond the arc. Hibbert pulls it in. Hibbert's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Hill with it. Now guarded by Gonzalez. Again, missing Hill. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics. Um, at least as I look at it. Time to turn out the lights on this game. I think they deserve a ton of credit for the way they played here today. Truly a professional display. 141 left here in the fourth quarter. West inside, good. That's exactly what they had in mind on that possession. Detroit's gone a disappointing two of six on three-point attempts here in the fourth. Outside, Gonzalez. Anthony on the wing. Back to Gonzalez. Outside, Martin. There's the triple. And again, the triple from Gonzalez. Gonzalez has got 11 here in this quarter alone. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Detroit. You're right, Steve. It was a standout performance across the board. They were just, uh, at times, Clark, it seemed toying with them. Yeah, like watching a cat play with a mouse, Kevin, quite yeah. honestly. They were able to do more or less whatever they wanted to do. And when it's all said and done here, this will mark their 38th W on the year. And I think they needed this win, guys, if for nothing else than to gain a split in the four games of the season series. You know, that's definitely something. I'm sure it meant a lot to them, not letting a conference opponent get the better of them. You look at the stats and you'll see just how dominant a game this was for Flash. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do anything, really, uh, to stop him. Outside, Martin. Back to Gonzalez. Caldwell Poe passes to Gonzalez. A three ball, and he gets it to go. And the fans loving what's transpired here tonight. A really good victory for these guys. Sure was. I mean, they did just what they needed to do to keep the visitors from getting any momentum going at all. Hibbert against Anthony. It's Hibbert with the drive. Missed inside. Here's Gonzalez. Jacks up a three. No good. And so it's the Pistons taking care of business here. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? Thanks.